Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about hacking iOS games and I'm going to be showing you a few very special ways that together will allow you to hack pretty much any iOS game out there pretty easily. So, before we get started however, I need to point out that there are no emulators for iOS and therefore there is no risk-free way of actually hacking iOS games. That is just a public service announcement you need to jailbreak your actual physical device, which can in the end lead to it getting bricked and you losing however much money it is that you spent on that device. So that's just a warning. You're doing this at your own risk, okay? If you don't want that risk, go to my Android guide. Android offers emulators that you can install on your computer that are basically an Android operating system and that allow you to mod games or hack games without any risk. If you brick your emulator, all you have to do is uninstall it, reinstall it, no harm done. If you brick your actual iOS device, that device can be unusable forever, okay? Just be aware of that. Hacking iOS games, if you're doing it wrong, can be very, very expensive, all right? I'm gonna get into that a little bit more later after showing you some of the best ways of hacking iOS games. Now let's get started right now with number one, that is using hackerbot.net and in particular our free cheats finder, okay? You can get there by just simply googling hackerbot.net or game hacks and you will find us very easily and simply in Google. So our free cheats finder, you can reach it right through this button on our home page and this essentially will allow you to search for mods and cheats and hacks in among only legitimate websites. So it allows you to not get all the fakes, the human verification scams, all the not working stuff, all the illegitimate things that you will find on the internet otherwise when it comes to finding mods and similar uh, software for iOS. So the way this works is you enter your game, doesn't matter which game it is, you enter if you can the latest version of that game, the year and what you're looking for. So for example, um, Let's say Fortnite iOS mod 2019 and then you can just browse. Here is a jailbreak bypass, a jailbreak detection bypass and then we have, uh, for example, here we have a, a mod, okay? Or if you want to look for another game, for example, um, let's say Roblox, I think that's on, on iOS as well, Roblox and then you will find a Roblox mods here. here. For example, you have a mod menu for Roblox. You can simply head over to the website and download that stuff there. There will also be um, guides on how to install the app or the modded app store and so on that you will need in order to install this on your iOS device. So hackerpad.net is the easiest way of finding mods and hacks and also keeping them updated. So if you need the latest version, you can simply enter uh, 1.8.10 uh, or whatever, right? <laughs> that is just Im an imaginary version, of course, which probably doesn't exist. Anyways, so that's how HackerBad.net Free Finder works. It's the safest way to find legitimate cheats online for any device, it doesn't matter, iOS, Android, PC, uh, consoles, anything works with HackerBot Free Finder, okay? So this is a very easy way to find mods. Then the second way that I do recommend is game hacking tools, however, okay? And those you can find at cheatware.net. You can simply Google cheatware and you will be able to find it very easily. Here you have um, the iOS section and you can head over. Right now the most popular game hacking tools for iOS are, um, I think that's Game Jam, iGame Guardian, and Game Player, okay? I think Game Jam is the best of them and the one that's kept up to date the most, so you can f just find that at, at cheatware.net. Links is always in description of this video and link to the article where everything's linked as well. So these are memory editors. There are loads of tutorials out there on how to use memory editors. There will be also a link in the description of this video that will show you how to uh, use memory editors in order to edit values in games. Now this warning is a lot harder than simply heading over to hackerbot.net and using our free finder, okay? 
all you need to be able to do in, in this method is remember the name of your game, remember the current year, remember what platform you're playing on, right? And maybe find out which build of the game that you're looking to mod, okay? So that's those are four very basic things. Now, with stuff like Game Gem, you need to have some basic knowledge on how values work, um, how memory works, how encryption works, how uh, how computers work, how, how phones work, how... Uh, it's, it's a lot more complicated, okay? Because you're doing things like you're scanning for values, you're scanning for uh, either defined values or undefined values, and then filtering the value tables that you get by different <laughs> parameters and things that have changed in different ways. So it's, it's pretty complicated compared to method number one. However, the good thing about using memory editors and other game hacking software is that it always works, okay? Now, mods, they can take a long time to get developed, and for every single build of the game, you need a new mod, okay? So, uh, the mod that works for version 2.35.2 will not work for the next one. <laughs> That's a long, long version name. Anyways, so you get my point. This always works, no matter what, and mods only work for the actual build that they were made for or from, okay? So that's the big difference there. So your success rate, in theory, if you had the skill to do it uh, with, with using, uh, with using, using, <laughs> what's up with my tongue today? Uh, with using <laughs> a memory editor would be 100%, and with modding, probably around 80 to 90%, depending on how popular a game is. Now, for the last method that I'm gonna discuss, actually those are two methods, because botting is one of those, okay? Botting is essentially using scripts, using macros and so on, in order to record um, your mouse and keyboard movements in order to automatically farm, especially online games. Now. Little problem that we have already talked about is that iOS is, I love iOS, okay? Although I am not a huge Apple user myself, uh, I love iOS. I love how simple it makes things and how convenient and beautiful it makes things. However, for game hacking and modding in particular, it's just not the best. Uh, objectively, Android is just better for game hacking simply because there's emulators, okay? Now with iOS, as I've already pointed out, the problem is you have to actually risk breaking your iOS device, which can cost anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars, okay? So, or Swiss francs, whichever you prefer. They're basically a parody at the moment. So anyways, point being, you're risking a lot of money. It's a huge risk. I mean, although Apple users are more rich and, um, you know, on average, as far as I'm aware, anyways, they spend a lot more money as well. So there's upsides and downsides. I guess it's nice if you're rich. Uh, also, it's nice if you can hack games without any risk. So, anyways, what I'm trying to say is one of the methods of hacking iOS games is actually switching to Android because, please hear me out, please don't throw rocks and rotten tomato, rotten fruit, please hear me out. Okay, the game hacking community on Android is a lot, lot stronger, bigger, better, that's just objective uh, knowledge, that is, just, that is just facts, okay, and that is due to the fact that developing for Android is so much easier because you have emulators, okay? Because you have emulators and because it's so much more accessible, cheaper to buy the phones, cheaper to do anything, essentially. So also, we don't have to jailbreak our device, okay? Google doesn't tell us which apps we can and cannot install. Of course, there are known and unknown apps as well that are on the store and that aren't, but there is no, no such thing as jailbreaking on Android. All you have to do is root the phone and there you go. You can basically do anything. And the great thing about emulators is they can just disable and enable a root, okay? So essentially, the jailbreak for iOS on Android, you, you push a button on your computer. There you go, that's it. So, and that is why I would recommend if you cannot find a way 
to do game hacking risk-free uh, in a way that you are comfortable with on iOS that you move over to Android and hack the game there since most mobile games are present on both platforms and in a lot of cases you can actually connect to the same accounts that you can connect on iOS which means you can even get your progress in the case of online games over to your Android okay so what I recommend is just downloading an Android emulator costs you nothing they exist for Apple Diva for Apple computers and for Windows computers and for any other computers as far as I'm aware because it's so easy to make them because Google's not holding on to the code so very tightly the source code for Android so it's very easy to actually do that now the upsides that you have on Android is first of all lots more mods lots more cheating tools I mean look at uh, go to cheatware.net and compare how many Android cheating tools there are compared to how many iOS there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten compared to three okay and those three aren't even kept up to date as far as I'm aware I think game gem is literally the only one that's being kept up to date pretty much so <laughs> it's ten to one essentially and when it comes to mods and finding mods the case is very similar it's so much easier on Android because there's so many more cheat developers and websites and so on so that is my advice to you if you can't find uh, anything for your iOS device go to hackerbot.net free finder and just you know window shop uh, go for Fortnite um, APK mod 2019 and I can guarantee you you will find a lot more than you would for iOS which is okay uh, Fortnite is a very <laughs> special case because it hasn't been released for Android for a long time and yet you can find more mods and private servers even for a Android at this point even though it's only been released for like a few months compared to over a year I think on iOS anyways guys I'm not saying iOS is bad I'm not saying Android is better I'm saying for the purposes of game hacking Android has some definite upsides now another upside is uh, is macros and and um, and bot creation so I'm just gonna Google uh, Google bot create bot hacker bot because I do have a tutorial on that um, 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 macro I'm j I need to just add macro to that create bot okay so you can create simple click bots using and um, there's going to be the link in the description this is not actually the, the tutorial and I'm going to want to show you uh, macro recorder and editor that's the one okay these are essentially this is a piece of software that allows you to record your mouse movements and your keystrokes on a computer okay they exist for Windows and they exist for iOS well Apple Mac OS rather so what that, what this allows you to do is create loops where you do things on your device okay on your emulator so what you can do in online games with static navigation is create loops in order to automatically farm an online game so for example you start in the main screen you go to a, a, a mission screen you you auto battle a fight and then you return to the main screen and then you can let the script infinitely repeat that and that's how you create a bot for iOS <laughs> if there was an emulator so what you allow what Android allows you to do is actually use these PC as uh, this PC software this bot and uh, this macro and and um, macro editor and macro recorder in order to create a bot on computer using the emulator to bot the uh, the Android game iOS doesn't allow you to do that again because there is no emulator so in the end there is two big downsides which is three less developers for iOS modding the modding community and cheating hack game hacking community then second of all you have to risk breaking your device if you want to hack iOS games and third of all no bots no bots I'm sure there's some kind of script software for iOS as well out there but it's not going to be as comprehensive as good uh, I mean even the the software that I'm recommending using as, as always link in description 
even recognizes images. It can it can recognize images on the screen and then perform actions based on that. So that's definitely something you're not ever going to get on iOS. Now, I don't care how much time. So let's hope that iOS, that Apple will in the future allow people to experiment with their operating system, maybe release some source code, maybe, but it's very unlikely that that will ever happen because they want to keep the garden as walled as possible in order to be able to make as much money as possible and not give anybody else a chance. It's sad, but at this moment, if you're not able to find cheats through our, our free finder at hackerbot.net, um, then the best method after that would simply be to move to Android, install an Android emulator, connect to the same account in the, in the case of online games, or restart your game and cheat that way, because your chances on Android are a lot, lot better it's a lot less complicated it's a lot less risk uh it's sad it's sad i wish it was different but things are what they are also the trends are that um adaption like you know population wise ios is going down android's going up especially like in the east where modding is very popular by the way um india and so on like it, it's extreme android is exploding so if you really love game hacking, if you really want to cheat in your online and offline games on mobile, then over the long term, I definitely recommend um, switching over to Android. If you just if you're just there for for the good user experience, the, the design, and of course the brand, then I re recommend maybe get a cheap Android device or an emulator on your computer to hack games there and keep all your personal stuff your messaging services, your social networks, and so on, on your iOS device. It's things that you can consider. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you use all these methods together, you will be able to hack 100% of all iOS games, although you might not be able to hack them on iOS itself. Anyways, guys, thanks you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. I hope this helps you. Thanks, you guys.